highlight for today. It's semi-holiday, right? It's Columbus Day. Volume was okay, actually, coming in. But generally, it's a day that's slow. You don't want to get yourself in trouble because it's kind of a sleepy day. And then you all, and then all of a sudden, you can have a, a decent move. Let me open up this so you could have a decent move out of nowhere. So you have to be willing to miss trades, especially on slow days, in order to, to either um, catch maybe a little pullback that you can get in a continuation because most people aren't going to catch the move on a slower day, especially because uh, they're just lulled to sleep. You don't want to get yourself chopped up. You have to have an anticipation of what kind of day it is and, and what's the theme. And then the, the whole idea of a grind, the grind is you go to sleep, take a two hour nap, wake up, you're 10 points higher. And if you get yourself caught selling it, selling it, selling it all the way up, all it takes is one stupid idea to get short and uh, you know, affect your day negatively but usually in, in a drifty grind session to the upside where we're not making all time highs, but we're making multiple week highs. You do that. It's just so slow, but next thing you know, you're four points higher, five points higher. And that's the way it's gone since about nine central. So just make sure you know, in those days where it can get sleepy and drifty and still move those often are, can be dangerous.